The media. The media is the most powerful entity on the planet. Because the media controls the minds of the masses. And that's power. When the media and the people who are in power wants to create an image for a criminal, like a hero, they use the press. They use the press to create a demon image for him, for a hero. Like the Underground Railroad in the time of Mark Twain and in the time after Malcolm X, uh, close to his after his death, a demon image for the Black Panthers. And also, media tried to demonize Malcolm X. To take the attention away from the cruelty and the barbarity of the white man of that time. In the same regard as that the media focus on that vegans are so supporting their agenda. In other words, we want to change the status quo. But since when is the majority of the people right from the begin point? And since when? Put society standards any more ground in an honest discussion? Let me be honest, let me be fair. The farmers or the flesh eaters, the meat eaters, the carnists are not the victims in this scenario. The vegans also are not the victims. The true victims are the animals. We are like the allied forces uh, that break in concentration camps of Bergenhaus and Auschwitz. We are like the Underground Railroad and Harriet Stumpman, how free the slaves from the south. We are, as the vegan and animal rights movement, are like with people like um, William Lord uh, Garrison and Frederick Douglass, where for the abolishing of slavery of people of our species um, and people like Gary Roski are like the Malcolm X of that movement of the civil rights movement we like to provoke the oppressors we try to let them think for one moment as William Lord Friso Agarus wants to say, the apathy of the people is enough to uh, resurrect the dead. Uh, to the promised tools of the dead. Um, we also say, let the oppressors tremble, let the apologists tremble, let all the ends of the um, person servants. Blacks tremble. I will replace blacks with all victims of the oppressors. I will not make any excuse for what they are done. And I want also that they understand. They have a choice. The animals, pigs, the turkeys, the chickens, they have no choice. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody's glass house media. Stop playing this stupid game with our vegans. It's particular, since our position defends innocent life and of the people who eat animal body parts and secretions, meat, dairy, and eggs, honey, silk, and other products that are from the body parts or the mammal secretion, or the ovarian secretion eggs of another being. Silence encourages the tormentor. That wants the tormented. Choose standing on the side of the oppressed. That's the only thing that I've made this world a better place.
And yes, we are in small groups. But that's the only ones that have ever get the majority to think. You'd have always take a small group of passionate people who stand by their standpoints and their beliefs that have made this world a better place. From Harriet Tompman, uh, one escaped slave, how have escaped the plantation of her master, how have freed over a hundred slaves, and how have, has one bounty on their heads from forty thousand American dollars in that time, dead or alive. So please tell me not that the animal rights militia or the animal rights um, elf, the animal rights front, and uh, the animal liberation front are criminals or tough. If there are criminals, then Harriet Stuntman and the Underground Railroad will also thieves. If there are if there are, if you are to claim that the elves steal the animals from the farmers. Then Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad are also thieves, according to their logic, when they're in reality are liberationists. I have in the description some documentaries from the elf. If you are open-minded enough, check them out. And see how much of an heroes the elf and the armor. When dark and the light become one, the reality splits away and the truth become invisible.